again, it's, it kind of boggles my mind. But those are the images that led to this painting, right? So the same site, hopped over the fence, painted this image several times on plain air, but it, I, it wouldn't let me on this little tiny panel. I couldn't paint the particularly disheveled Venetian blinds. Um, I couldn't paint the fact that the windows were broken, half of them, or that every time I turned my head, the vanishing point shifted just a little bit, so I don't have to turn my head and paint a plain air painting. And so being able to break the vanishing point, being able to, um, being able to explore some of the ideas put forward by uh, Antonio Garcia Lopez, or, um, or looking at uh, rack straw downs, turning your head in empirical space. It's like these are academic ideas that lead me to where I am as a teacher and allow me to look at, at painting is not just a, um, not a conceptual, not just an expressive, not just a, a self-entertainment, not just a, a form of uh, how to kill an afternoon, but is all of these things, all of these layers, and these ongoing thousand year long dialogues that one artist has had with another. Um, and so uh, in this case, uh, I'm gonna end with this, uh, is this is the alley across the street from where I lived at Grand Central uh, in Santa Ana. It's a particularly glamorous part of Orange County, Santa Ana is. Um, and the alleys are fantastic. Um, I really recommend that, like three o'clock in the morning, doing on plein air painting in the alleys, excellent. It's really, really a good idea. And while I was there, I was working on this, sorry, I was working on this mural. Uh, this is, was for a museum show um, put together by a curator who's a good friend. Um, while they, when they went on their, their hunt, they went out across the country looking for work. I was honored to be asked to do one of the walls in the space. And while they were out, they had this terrible car accident. One of them was almost killed. Her back was broken. Uh, she lost a kidney. Um, everyone in the car was severely injured. Uh, some of them didn't get home for six months because they were hospitalized. And so I knew that as I was starting this mural. And I just wanted to figure out how was I going to how was I going to paint? Like how startling it is that you can pull out of your driveway in the morning and not come home that night. That every morning is this wild adventure. Uh, but I'm telling you, painting the alleys of Santa Ana is very close to that adventure. Very, very, very close. Um, and so I would go back night after night, morning after morning, until this one morning when this woman who lived in that house, who would routinely come out and ask me, what are you doing? painting my house. I painted it from every angle. She came out and she dumped about five gallons of soapy water uh, that's what's running down there um, in front of me while I was painting from across the street. And, I, and suddenly the whole painting made sense to me. Um, I thought what she'd just done is she'd symbolically given me a Rubicon. Uh, there's this moment where you cross, you just take that one step and nothing can ever be the same. Um, she just made my painting for me, um, but not from that angle. So um, I had to come back and paint this Rubicon running through this alley um, uh, and her lovely house and the street light and the fact that uh, we live in shadows and we have great optimism about what's in the light, but we have no idea what's around the corner. Um, this was, it was a really important thing for me and to try to look at this moment and so I uh, looked at the combination of her Rubicon and the Beatles song uh, Wednesday morning at five o'clock, um, which is about a young girl who leaves home and it has two sides of the story. Her excitement about going out in the world and her parents' sense of loss and betrayal. Um, and the realization that each one of these adventures has certainly more than one point of view. So I hope you enjoy the show and I uh, hope you can see that there are a lot of points of view, a lot of points of access into this work. So thank you very much. Our new, our brand, you know, future program uh, for our space gallery. Um, and yeah, have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>